Hi guys, my name is Rahul Aldankar and I'm from the customer success team. So today we are going to talk about what workflows are and how you can create workflows. Okay. So workflows are basically bought which you can use to collect information of your customer or else you can use it on your welcome message where you are not available and the flow will, you know, definitely work for you and capture your leads or answer the queries of your customers. Okay. So now let's understand how to set up a workflow here. It comes under automation. Please click on automation. See now before starting a workflow, the workflow always triggers on a custom auto reply, right? So your custom auto reply should always be available. Let's say uh, I create a custom auto reply on hello or hello. I need more information. Okay, this is one uh, uh, input which I have created here for now. I will just type in ABC for now. Okay, because I will be attaching a workflow here itself. I'll just save this for now. And then I'll move to this workflow, which is just below a uh, custom auto reply. I will create a new workflow here. I will rename the workflow here. This is for hello. I need information okay so now i will be adding few responses here that will help me capturing the details the personal details of my customers okay the first response here i'll be capturing is what is your name this is the predefined some questions which we have given for you so you don't have to you know uh, create simple messages like these so for the first message, if the customer is typing, hello, I need information or clicking on the button, which says, hello, I need information is what is your name? So user input is basically the customer's response, which they are replying to this. Okay. So now if I want to save this particular data, what I will do is I will select a trait here, which is name. Okay. And I will save this response. Now I'll add another response, which is please enter your email address. Okay. Now, again, if I want to save these details, I can definitely add it here in by clicking on trade and I'll save this. Okay. Now let's say if I want to add a custom response, definitely that is possible. I will click here on create custom response and I will just type, please choose the product from the list. Okay. Now you will say Rahul, where is the list, right? Is there any option to add here? Yes, there is an option. If you scroll down here, you can see this uh, option, which is add button or list to your response, right? So from here, the interactive list, which we created, we can choose it from here, select a list. So let's say if I want to choose this list, okay. I will select this and I will save it here. Okay. Now this is how you can add an interactive list in your workflows as well. Now, if I want to give a button like yes or no, is that possible? Definitely it is possible. I will just add another response here I'll create another response or I, I, I'm just creating a random workflow. here. Okay. Please uh, select yes or no for the for your availability. Okay. So here I will just add buttons here. See, I'm giving you a demo of all the possibilities available here. Okay. So one button will be yes. Add another button will be no. And this is how you can preview here. Okay. I will save this and I will save this particular workflow here itself. Okay. Once the workflow is saved here, our work is not completely finished. We again have to go to custom auto reply. Choose our custom auto reply, which was hello. I need info. Please select on the edit button. Scroll down. We will again select the workflow button. Correct. Once this is done, I will click on view work, uh, view uh, workflow library. I will select this particular workflow. Click on done and save this and it says custom auto reply changes update. So now if a customer is writing with this particular custom reply that which is hello, I need more information. Our workflow is going to get triggered to those 
to that particular customers okay so this is how you create a workflow with the help of custom auto reply okay thank you